be the tutorial that's going to show you how to make the lacy zigzag ripple stitch and it's very simple the only thing you need to know in the way of stitches is the triple crochet and a front post double crochet which has worked on the actual post of the stitch and not inside the stitch itself so once you know those two stitches it's very very easy now the main part of the stitch is 17 uh, stitches but you have to make like half of each side uh, like basically this main part here is uh, the look of the stitch so basically you're gonna have to do a half they basically cut it down the half of this middle part here and you have half of it here half of it here so you have a total of 23 stitches to do your beginning and end and 17 stitches for the multiples so to do this stitch, you have to chain 23, which will give you what you need to um, begin and end your row. And then you just do in multiples of 17. 17, 17, 17, 17, until you get your um, project as large as you want. So if you're making an afghan, you wanna chain 23, and then start chaining in multiples of 17 until you reach the size of the afghan that you want. And I recommend if you're making an afghan or a large project like that, a shawl or something, that you begin your beginning row of your chain with one size larger hook. So I'm gonna use a size eight hook, which is size five millimeter hook, but uh, I recommend beginning the chain with a size J hook or six millimeter hook, just to make the chain, just to make it loose. And then you switch back to your size eight, I mean size H or five millimeter hook to begin your actual uh, crochet stitches. So for the minimum amount of uh, stitches that you need to even do the stitch is 40. So 17 for the center, then 23 for the sides. Gives me a total of 40 stitches. So that's what I need to have to show you the full stitch of this. So I have my chain of 40, and so for row one, you wanna start by triple crocheting, so we're gonna chain over uh, yarn over twice, and then we're going to find the sixth stitch from the hook. So I'm gonna count one, two, three, four, five, six, and in the sixth chain, we're going to do a triple crochet. Then we wanna do a triple crochet again in that same stitch. Then we're gonna repeat that. Two triple crochets worked into the next two chains as well. So in the next chain, I'm gonna work two triple crochets. And then in the next chain, I'm going to work two triple crochets in the same stitch. Okay, so we have three sets now of two triple crochets. Now we want to start doing a, we want to skip the next stitch and then do a triple crochet in the next stitch. And then you'll repeat that, skip the next stitch and triple crochet in the next stitch. I'm only going through the top loop of the stitch skip the next stitch and triple crochet in the next. Sorry if you can hear that, that music outside. Somebody's just all of a sudden started playing this loud music outside, which is not, not good. So you wanna do this for a total of five times. Triple crochet, skip a stitch, triple crochet, skip a stitch, triple crochet, skip a stitch until you have a total of five triple crochets. And remember, before you started your set of five triple crochets, you had your two triple crochets worked in three stitches. Then you skip a chain, and then you work triple crochet, skip a chain, triple crochet, skip a chain, till you have your five. And then you will skip the next stitch, and in the following six chains, you will be working sets of two triple crochets in each chain. So that's my first set. Two triple crochets worked in one chain. And I'll repeat that for the next five chains as well. For a total of six sets, a total of uh, 12 
triple crochets. Okay, I have my six uh, chains here worked with two triple crochets in each of those chains for a total of 12 triple crochets. Then now we're going to skip the next chain and then the following chain we're going to work a triple crochet. And again we're doing the same thing as we did back here. Skip a chain, then the next chain, do a triple crochet. Skip a chain, next we do a triple crochet. Till we have a total of five. Skip a chain, triple crochet. Skip a chain, triple crochet. Just let me make sure I have my five. Yes, I have my five. Okay, now we're going to be doing the end of the row. We have one, two, three, four, five stitches left, uh, chains on the end. You're going to skip one chain and then the next you're going to work your sets of two triple crochets worked in the same stitch. You're going to be doing half the sets that you do here. Here you did a full six sets and then at the beginning here you only did three and here on the end you're going to only do three. So we're going to do three sets of two triple crochets worked in the same stitch. That's my second set. And I need to do one more set of two triple crochets, which will give me one chain left on the end, which will work one triple crochet in this very last stitch. And as you can see, where you put the uh, sets of triple crochets here, double triple crochets, you have the top of the ripple, and that here, where you do your triple crochet, skip a stitch, triple crochet, skip a stitch is the bottom part of the ripple. Now, how we get the ridges in there is very simple. You'll be doing a row like this, and then the very next row will always be uh, the front post double crochet row. So you will do a chain of two and then turn. And for your second row, you will always skip this first post and go into the next post, pick it up, and do a double crochet onto the post. You'll be doing that for all the posts except for the very first post of the row and the very last post of the row. So go ahead and work your double crochets onto the post. Of your triple crochets, and I will see you when you get to the very end of this okay, row. End of my row. And if you remember, we had our beginning chain here of uh, five. We we skipped the first five chains, and then in the sixth, we started our our first uh, set of our triple crochet. So we have these five chains on the end, and you want to end the row by double crocheting in the top of this chain five, this beginning chain five. And that will end the row. Now you want to chain four and turn. We're going to be beginning, beginning our next uh, ripple row. You can see that we have the ridge now that was created because of our last front post double crochet row. So this row is going to be done the same way that you did the first row, except instead of working in chains, we're now working in actual stitches. So you always skip the first stitch. The chain four will count as that first stitch. So working in your first three stitches of the row, you're going to be working your sets of two triple crochets in each of these stitches. So working two triple crochets in each stitch. It's one set. That's two sets. And this is my third set. So that's three sets. It's half of what you have here in the middle. Now you're going to be starting your down part of your ridge, your ripple. So you'll want to skip a stitch and then work a triple crochet. That's one. Skip a stitch, work a triple crochet. That's two. 
skip a stitch, work a triple crochet. That's three. Remember, we do this until we have five. This is my fifth here. Make sure you have five. I do. So that's done. Now we skip the next stitch, and now we're going to begin our top part of our, our um, ripple, which is working six sets of two triple crochets worked. And you're not going to be skipping any stitches. It's going to be six stitches together, working two triple crochets in each one of those stitches. So that's my first set. And I'm going to do a total of six sets. Okay, I have my six sets, 12 do uh, triple crochets total. Then we start our down part of our, uh, our ripple. So again, skip a stitch, work a triple crochet. Skip a stitch, work a triple crochet. You're doing this five times. Skip a stitch, work a triple crochet. Oops, trying to do a double crochet there. We'll do this until you have a total of five. And I have four, so I need to do one more time. Okay, then you'll do your other half set here, which is you skip one stitch, and then you're going to be working your sets of two triple crochets worked in the same stitch. Remember, you're doing half of what you do in the middle, so you do six sets of these in the middle. So each side of this stitch will only be half that. So we'll only have three sets at the beginning and three sets on the end. See? I have three sets here, two triple crochets. And then in your very last stitch, you will put a triple crochet worked in the top of the chain two. And then that's it. That's what you'll be doing the repeat of. So again, you'll do a chain two and turn, and not working in the very first stitch here. You're only going to be working in the second post and on. Remember, you'll do a front post double crochet. You'll only do a front post double crochet like I told you before. And all the stitches except the very first post and the very last post. So you'll continue to do your front post double crochets until you get to the end and then you will do a double crochet worked in the top of the chain four and then you'll turn and then you'll start your ripple row again and as you can see it's starting the next ridge row here so it's going to always be triple crochet row then front post uh, double crochet row and you'll do that over and over and over again and you can see that it works up very fast because they're triple crochets and because of these have uh, the spaces in between, it kind of makes it lacy. So it would make a nice afghan for uh, cooler weather if you wanted to make an afghan out of this or a shawl. And uh, it's pretty big, just this piece alone. Uh, both my hands fit. You can see uh, also compared to the size of the hook. So this is just the one set, basically. The ends and then one set of 17. It's pretty big. So it would work up really quickly for a nice afghan or something. But if you want to make it a baby afghan with the holes like this, I always recommend to sew on a back or something onto um, these kind of ones that have holes in it. If you're going to make an afghan out of those kind. So that is it. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial on how to do the lacy zigzag ripple stitch. Thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to like and share this video. It helps me out so much. Thank you to everyone that's been helping and supporting my channel, to my patrons and to the people who just donate that don't become patrons. I appreciate you too very much. And everybody who uh, clicks on the ads that support my sponsors, which in turn support me and continue to uh, allow me to make all these um, uh, projects for free like I do. So thank you so much for all of your help and support and for you to continue to watch and share my video. Thank you so much for watching.